In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide a drop down field value or an option set field value within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub application form. Now, for a matter of fact, this can be is it this is applicable for any model driven app form control. So as you see in the screen over here, I have an origin field which has value like phone, email and Facebook and Twitter and IoT. So the goal is basically to hide Facebook and Twitter values from the drop down using javascript now what i've done ahead of time is i have created a separate tab called as girish uh, and this has the same value as the uh, the drop down value of origin now the goal is to hide facebook and twitter so first uh, first thing first what we need to do is like we need to gather some information now uh, this is the case table uh, from the case table, we are picking up origin column. Now this origin column, if I click on edit column, I just want to capture the logical name for this. Now here, uh, the logical name for this particular column is case origin code. So let me copy this, okay? Now, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spin up Visual Studio Code. And here, this is my Visual Studio Code interface. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new JS, okay? So as a hide origin, drop down values dot js okay and here i'm just gonna comment it out and then put the logical name of the uh, the column now if you see the value of this particular drop down is the choices uh, are for facebook and twitter the value is 2483 and 3986 so 2483 3986 So this is the value which we need to hide, okay? So these are some of the uh, information which we need to gather. And then once you are in the form, you have seen that this is the control which we need to write some JavaScript on top of this control, okay? Now, uh, what we, we're going to do, we are going to first write some JavaScript. So the JavaScript uh, which we are going to write over here is a very simple JavaScript, which I'll call it as first called as function. The function name is I just called the disable drop down values. Okay, and we're going to part the execution context. So execution context. Now here, first thing what we need to do is we need to take the form context. Form context is execution context dot get form context. And uh, we we'll take the option set value. So where option set uh, equal to form context dot get the control. And the control name uh, is basically uh, this one, case origin code. So we'll put it in a double quotes, case origin code. Put a semicolon. Now option set. Now the option set out of this which we want to remove is, let's say remove option and this value 2483 so 2483 this semicolon copy this and we're going to hide uh, 3986 as well so i'll just copy this 3986 so this is the basic javascript which we are going to upload it now hide origin drop down values and this is the function name Okay, so where to write this JavaScript is first we need to open the form. This is the case for interactive experience form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outer layer. So now the form is selected and from here I'll go to events and I'll say event handler on load. Okay, now the table column dependency I'm going to select origin because this is the one which I'm working on and I'll click on event handler. Event type is on load. Function is this one, disable drop down value. So remember this one, disable drop down value is the name of the function. Now here, uh, we need to select the library. Now the library which haven't we haven't uploaded, the file name is hide origin drop down value.js. I'll click on add library. I'll click on new web resource. Click on choose file and hide origin drop down values. Okay, and we can give it some meaningful name. So I'll just call this Girish hide drop down origin. Okay, Girish hide drop down origin. So just remember this name. Click save and publish. Now the JS is published. Let me search this. And I can see this JS file. I'll add. And from here, from the library, here you need to select 
the proper library which you have uploaded. So this is a garish height dropped on origin and the function name is correct. Pass execution context is the first parameter. Event type is on load. Click on done. Table column dependence is origin. Click on save and publish. Now it is published what we can do come to this form now see we have these values now the goal is to hide facebook and twitter just do a hard refresh i put control f5 Now the form is loaded. Let me go into the correct tab, Kirish tab, and from here, click on origin. And if you see, the Facebook and Twitter options are disabled. So that's how you basically write a JavaScript against a form and uh, on the event handler, and you call those JavaScript. The JavaScript doesn't do something fancy. It just takes the execution context of the form. Uh, it uh, fetches the options that control value, which is case origin code, the logical name. And once you get that option set, you just need to remove the correct option by specifying the values of that drop down. In my case, 2483, 3986 was the value. Now that value is basically, uh, I'm, I'm capturing it from uh, the value 2483, 3986, which corresponds to Facebook and Twitter over here. And you can then hide those particular values so if you see in the summary tab i had the same control okay and now in the summary tab if you see i had that same control which was uh, which is the origin and it is now uh, applicable for all the control in all the uh, form tabs okay so that means this js is applied at a form level so we have applied the js at a form level and that's why i told you like we have selected the highlighted uh, form over here and then it is applicable to the entire form so any tab which has that control will uh, will be uh, hiding those two particular values facebook and twitter so that's it for this is how you basically hide option set value using javascript in any of the model driven apps for my case i have used the case for interactive experience form thanks for watching